Hey everyone, this is Damien from RSU1 Tech TV, and today I'm going to show you something really cool. I'm going to actually take a PDF document and embed it directly in my blog. This means that if you've watched our previous videos, um, posting pages, documents, and blogger, and exporting pages documents, you will know how to create this public folder in Google Drive and share it with anyone who has the link, and you'll also know how to open up pages, create a newsletter, and export it to a PDF. So that's where we are now. We have our public folder and we have our PDF ready to upload. So let's get started. I'm going to open up our public folder and then you're going to click new file upload and then you're going to try to find your file. Once you get it, you're going to open it up like this. And then you don't want any of these options. We're actually going to click the pop out option initially. And once it opens up in a new tab, you're going to click these three dots and you're going to click embed item. You got some HTML code here. You want to copy that code. And then you want to go back over to Blogger. And now let's go into our blog. Let's create a new post. So now you want to make sure that instead of Compose, you've got HTML selected. And that means it's going to be pure code you're working in. So uh, don't expect those tools to work like center and align and stuff like that. You can go back and do that later. So. What I found is you need to tweak the height and the width. Right now the height's less than the width, so that means you're going to be scrolling your document. Um, I find that about 900 will make an entire page show on your blog at one time. Uh, great for one page newsletters. I also found that 700 works for me on a width. Um, the height and width is all up to you guys and what fits in your blog. You can do smaller or larger. Um, but yeah, it's all up to you. So I'm going to click preview. As you see, it fits right on my blog. It fits in my content area and uh, you got your page. If it's multiple pages, you'll be able to scroll it. Um, pop out, that showed up there, will open it in a new tab, and the zoom will zoom in and out. Um, if you want to change the width of your blog, as you saw in our previous video about beautifying your blog, adjusting colors and stuff, you can, under templates, you can adjust the width of your content area, which for me is this white box. You can make it thinner or thicker. Um, so yeah, hopefully that helps you guys, makes it look good. On mobile devices, it might not be quite as fancy. You'll have to test that and play with it. Uh, and I encourage you to do so. And if there's any questions or comments, just let us know. And once again, I'm Damien Austin from RSU1 Tech TV, and I thank you for watching.